discussion on the topic enterprise resource planning. So next slide please. So let's first look at the topic that we are going to discuss in this presentation. First we will see the introduction, then what is an ERP system, then we will see why is ERP important, then we will discuss the popular ERP modules, then we will discuss the major challenges to ERP implementation, then advantages and disadvantages of ERP, then, then we will finally conclude our presentation. Next slide. Introduction. So let's discuss the introduction. As we already know that ERP solution has evolved over the years and many are now typically web-based applications that users can access remotely. Enterprise resource planning is a process used by companies to manage and integrate the important part of their business. Many ERP software applications are important to companies because they help them implement resource planning by integrating all of the process needed to run their companies with a single system. An ERP software system can also integrate planning, purchasing inventory, sales, marketing, finance, human resources and more. Next slide. So let's discuss what is an ERP system. ERP systems are the kind of software tools which are used to manage the data of an enterprise. ERP systems help different organizations to deal with different departments of an enterprise. Different departments like receiving, inventory management, customer order management, production planning, shipping, accounting, human resource management and other business functions. Basically, it is the practice of consolidating an enterprise's planning, its manufacturing, its sales and marketing efforts into one management system. It combines all databases across different departments into a single database which can be easily accessible to all employees of the enterprise. It helps in automation of the tasks involved in performing a business process. Next slide. So why is ERP important? It's important, it's impossible to ignore the impact of ERP in today's business world as enterprise data and process are controlled into ERP systems. When this can align separate departments and improve workflows resulting in significant bottom line savings. So the first one is improve business insight from real time information generated by reports. Lower operational cost through streamlined business process and best practice. Enhanced collaboration from users sharing data in context, requisitions and purchase order. Improved efficiency through a common user experience across many business functions and well defined business process. Consistent, consistent infrastructure from the back office to the front office with all the business activities having the same look and feel. Higher user adoption rates from a common user experience and design, reduced risk through improved data integrity and financial risk controls, lower management and operational cost through uniform and integrated system. From here, Ranjit will continue. So, good evening, sir. My name is Ranjit Kumar, roll number 8071. So, I am will be talking about popular ERP modules. So we can make uh, as many modules we can. So what is ERP modules? So basically an ERP module is a software component or part of the ERP program that takes care of a particular operation or department. ERP modules are powerful tools for adapting business processes across departments and improving cross dependent um, departmental works. So there are many challenges while implementing the ERP modules. For example, there is a challenge, data quality challenge. Because this challenge occurs because ERP is going to replace the legacy systems. Thus, it creates challenges of data migration. And data collected by the legacy systems might not be compatible with the ERP systems. This can be overcome by proper planning before any new implementation is done. And this will provide a clear picture related to various modifications that a new system might ask. There is another problem which is flexibility. Many times it happens that an ERP system is not flexible. This means that it can cannot be configured according to the current process of the business. At this time, an organization has to, has to step backward and adapt according to the ERP requirements. However, the choosing the right ERP for your organization will eliminate, uh, eliminate such flexibility issues. And other issue is cost. Since uh, since ERP is a software, so it uh, requires daily uh, upgradation or timely upgradation, and it requires some cost to train your employee to 
in the new ERP system and as well as in the upgradation cost it takes and there are lots of other uh, major challenges are there like resistance to change uh, like employees are not more suitable with the new systems so they are uh, these are also a major challenges in ERP implementation there are lots of other benefits as well like enable organization standardization uh, improves information management because it is a system uh, because it is a software so it has a statistics and analytics as well so it gives the analytics of uh, for example a uh, one month it will show that what are the improvements have been made from last one month or one year or any big changes we can see over there and facilities uh, it also integrate organization activities and also provides the best practices uh, for the employees as well as for the customers. From here, Satya will continue. So the first one is large cost of licensing and development. The IT solutions are very complex and their development is a difficult and accordingly pricey process. Building a resource planning system according to customers' specifications requires an experienced and numerous team with a high level of expertise. High skills demand high wages per hour, so the resulting price of a custom-made solution may be quite heavy. Ready-made ERP systems are faster options, though the licensing costs are also rather cheap. The lower prices of ready solution also involve more flexibility, longer customization periods, possibility maintenance and security risk, or even incompatibility with the company process and business. Plan. The second one is high cost to deploy and maintain. If you think that the prices of ERP system are too high, there is some bad news for you. Like the implementation and maintenance of such solutions involve even larger expenditures and require hiring additional tech staff. As for ready-made solutions, they need regular updates that may involve additional expenses. However, remember that these investments will eventually pay off thanks to improved efficiency of the whole enterprise. The third one is required Training and practice. The complexity of ERP software brings additional requirements to the staff who need it. Learning at least the basics of resource planning system may take considerable time and efforts and requires significantly more to master all its functionality. And the third one is requires tweaking. Successful implementation of ERP software requires growth and prices adjustment from extensive customization to find Tuning both ready to use solution and custom made system need to be adjusted to the structure of a particular enterprise on all levels of its management. And it takes time to realize its full potential. So, as you see, you can see from the previous drawbacks, ERP system requires quite some time to be used with maximum effectiveness. In addition to the lengthy development process, your stage of deployment, system customization, initial data input, staff training, and getting Accustomated is involving a certain delay. So, next slide, let's see the conclusion. So, as we have already seen, what is uh, ERP? So, ERP is a process used by companies to manage and integrate the important parts of their business. Many ERP software applications are important to companies because they help them implement resource planning by integrating all of the process needed to run their companies with a single system. So ERP systems are not all purpose solution that guarantees 100% success. Instead, they have a number of advantages and disadvantages that must be taken into account while considering the necessity and profitability of employing such a system. Now there are various commercially available and customized enterprise resource planning systems. Benefits associated with them remain roughly the same. In some ways, they have the like they save time and financial resources, enhance productivity and customer satisfaction, optimize business process, centralize all data flows, and enable easy scalability. So, ARP system can be ineffective if a company doesn't implement it carefully. These are the differences. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation.